Look at the size. Wow. Oh, giant iguana. Alpha right there. He's monstrous. Oh. Oh! Where are we? Are we in Jurassic Park? They are out right now, eating. Look at that boy right there. He's gonna go get some food. Who ruled that FWC just passed? They are urging all the homeowners to do whatever they have to do humanely to catch and destroy all of these iguanas. Let you guys know what is going on. Look, there's big boy right over there that we just seen. An absolute tank. So what you wanna do is start off with your little swivel, put the line through one side like that, make one twist, go underneath, pull right there. Make sure there's a tag. Get your pliers. Tighten it by pulling the tag. Ugh. There we go, that's great right there. Now, you get your other side and put it through the other hole through the swivel. And look how we just put it through there and you guys can see it's making a perfect circle. So that's really good right there. So once you do that, now you gotta get another swivel, put it through there. Do one loop, twist, put it inside the hole, just like that. Pull, boom. Pliers, pull. Now this side, this is where you're gonna connect to your line that you're gonna use on your rod. And just like that, guys, we have a perfect iguana catching snare. Now you always wanna make sure and test it before you test it on iguanas, because what if it's not working, you're gonna end up missing an iguana. Now depending on how good your material is, uh, it will depend on how durable it's gonna be. You know, because uh, I can catch like medium iguanas all day with this, but if I catch a couple giant alpha ones, I mean, they might bend this out of shape. So that's just something I want you guys to know. Just, to go, we're gonna go ahead and test it again on this bottle. Boom, perfect lasso. Now that I showed you guys how to make the iguana snare, it's time to go catch one. These iguanas are now on the FWC's hit list. Since the lizard's populations have been multiplying so rapidly, the state's wildlife agency is now encouraging people to kill them. Now, iguanas are responsible for digging up seawalls, eating native plants, and defecating everywhere. A female iguana can lay up to 60 eggs with a 90% success rate. The subtropical climate is another reason why iguanas are taking over. To do, to see who can fill up the most iguanas in this cage. So that's what the video is going to be about today, guys. Starting now. Yeah. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Horses in the back, baby. Whoa there. Hold on. Oh. Got us a feisty and, he didn't, and he didn't catch him by the head this time, guys. Whew. Yo, we got a feisty one, y'all. Check how we got him right around the hips. And right before he caught another one, another one ran over there in the bush. Did he? Yep. So, dude, tell me a little bit about this challenge that we're doing. You said we have a cage that we're going to be trying to fill all these iguanas in, right? Yep. Let's go ahead and open up the cage and put our first iguana in there. Jeffrey is doing a fishing anniversary, guys. So, y'all go check out his channel, man. He's going to be proud. Super proud, guys. Make sure and check him out. So, right here, yeah. Let's go ahead and see if we can pop this open and get it assembled. Now, how do we open this bad boy? You got to figure it out. Is it sewed? Looks like it's sewed. But that's why I come prepared, guys. Uh-oh. Boom. All your trash together, guys. And now look like this off. Oh my god. 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 Oh my god.
gosh, look at that thing. Whoa. Oh! Dude, no way. It's a big old cage. There we go. There we go, look at that. Dude, that is awesome. We got the iguana, like how, where do we put him in at? Just right there, through that little hole? All right. You know you gotta put him in. No. Oh, close it, oh! <laughs> Look at that! We got our first iguana in the cage. Let's go ahead and put him in the shade right here, dude. Oh my gosh. That is insane. He's gonna come down soon, guys. He's gonna come down. That is insane. He's gonna chill. He's in the shade right now. Make sure it's closed. You don't want him sneaking out. Dude, this thing is like a tent. The iguana's just like climbing. Iguana man. He's just chilling. Yo, what's good? You what's good? Raj, nice to meet you. Iguana Jeff. man. How are you, sir? What's up, homie? How are you? Iguanas? You guys are here to help us catch them? Yeah. I don't know how to catch you guys, I just watch. Okay, <laughs> cool. The more the merrier. Dude, let me see this camera. There's one down there. Where? On the gate down there. On the cross the lake. Oh, that's... That's that big one I want you to rescue. Dude, look at all these iguanas right here. This is crazy. What on earth? They're just everywhere. Look, he's sleeping right there, and then there's another one like walking right over to there. Iguana man, Iguana man, Iguana man. Yo. Okay, we'll get, we'll go to him. We'll go to him. He's up the tree. All right, let's, we're just gonna have to go for the alpha, I guess. Yeah. We gotta find her, but if we find him, that's good. Hold on. But you know, it's harder to catch her. Hey, look, Iguana man. Speaking of dead Iguana, there's one right there with his head taken oh, off. My God. Yeah. Horses in the bag, baby. Let him get in the water. Well, we got him on, y'all. Horses in the bag, baby. We got him on now. He's going, in, he's going into defense mode of swinging the tail. He's going to know how that works. Watch out for that tail now. He didn't fight. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, my God. He just woke up a little bit, y'all. Thank you for holding the pole. Help me out, man. This thing is really strong. Gotta watch out for that tail right there. Hold on. Whoa. He's going into the Hold death on. roll. He's really strong. The third defense of an iguana. Guys, this is definitely the alpha male right here, guys. You guys can see the absolute size and the power of this iguana. And for some reason or another, he just kind of gave up. I don't know if he's bluffing with me, but... So you going, man, you know that's going to be a long way back with him to the cage, man. It's okay. Let's see if we can grab him real quick. You got to be careful, because he'll... Oh, dude, he's so warm. Hey, look, man. Hold him oh. right there. It's like he got a bullet hole shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dude, look at that. That's definitely evidence of somebody shooting at him. He got some big, big... Oh, oh amazing. look at his tail. That's some good eating meat. Yeah. So you know him an alpha female. Oh, dude, let's unsnare him. Let's put him back in the cage. Let's bring him back to our camp. Put him in the cage. It's definitely the biggest iguana, y'all. I might snare another one. Go for it, man. It's all you, bro. I mean, after the alpha, the alpha male. We didn't find him, but guess what? We got him today. So that's really good work. That's really good progress right and there. You see, guys, he's. And hey, alpha male, guess where are you going? With your son or either your daughter. Dude, talking about dinosaurs, bro. Alligators. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he's on. Oh, he's on we might have another horses in the bag, baby. Wait. Snatch. Horses in the bag, baby. Horses in the bag, baby. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Mouth is open. He's, going to, he's, he's in going to, defense mode right now. He's in that the fight. Just let him fight it out for a second. He's all flared out right now. He's pissed. Hey, let's walk him down to the other cage. Hold on, let me grab him. Let me go for the double-handed grab real quick. Double-handed iguana grab. Look, he's trying to. He's gonna try to probably smack me with that tail. We're gonna go in for the the real quick and precise grab. And the iguana man doesn't even know it right now. He's bleeding. <sighs> Who's bleeding? The iguana or me? The iguana. Where? No, you, bro. Right there. Oh, it's okay. Gosh, guys, we were catching iguanas back to back out here in Florida. This is ridiculous, you guys. It's amazing. Woo. So, guys, you if, you guys, if you guys want to go iguana hunting with the iguana man, make sure you guys send me an email to the email address in the description down below. We have summer tours available all summer. He's trying to get out the cage. Come on. He knocked my pole over. As soon as we open this, he's going to run out. You know this that, right? crazy, bro. Try to scare him on the other side, dude. Right. I got two iguanas. Hey, bro. Get back. Get back, bro. Hey, bro. There you go. Go ahead. Open that thing, bro. We're going to have to add this other iguana. All right, Jeffrey. Go. Inside the cage. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa there. Go in there. Oh. 
Now we got two iguanas. Oh, oh, one's trying to get out. Hold on, let me get the big one in there. Oh, he's biting the cage. Iguana, you know you got to hurry up and close that for hell. Oh, oh my God. That's amazing. His tail is out. Dude, his tail is so massive, bro. Wow. There we go. Woo! Dude, we did it, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That is, that is an impressive size iguana. Right? Oh my gosh. Hey, look, coming he's, he's hitting that thing so tough. Look. I'm surprised he can't break through this, man. For real. That's amazing that I caught me a iguana. Yeah, dude. I mean, freaking good job, man. Golly, they be getting hit by cars and still be. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. That one has been shot how many times? Like three, four times. Still alive, dude. Still on top of the fence trying to get sun. So, guys, we just got done iguana hunting. <laughs> Just want to show you guys all the iguanas we just caught. Look at this guy right here. So everybody at home, you guys heard the new rule that FWC passed. They're encouraging homeowners to help eradicate some of these green iguanas if you have them on your property. Now, if you guys need help removing iguanas, learning techniques, or you guys want me to come out there to remove them, you guys make sure and send me an email or contact me through Instagram. I'll put all those links in the description down below. But we're with some buddies right here. From Trinidad, what's up, man? What's up, what's up? We're doing it with the Iguana Man. You heard him. The man, the myth, the legend. Doing it in Fort Lauderdale Sunrise. Catching these giant green iguanas and having a blast, people. We slay them. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at this. It's been raining off and on all day, and we're still able to come out here and get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 15 iguanas guys and we just stopped because we wanted to stop i mean we could have done this all day we can keep long. going if we want <laughs> this is what you get when you hook up with the iguana man please link him guys look at this right here this is crazy